So someone had a question. They wanted to know, why do I feel so terrible when I consume red meat? So I want to talk about that. There's two main reasons. One is you don't have enough hydrochloric acid in your stomach to digest that protein. And that's very, very common. And it's a simple solution. Get some betaine hydrochloride uh, slash apple cider vinegar. You can get them in a pill and you start taking that. And that should help you digest protein. But many, many people, especially as they get older, they lose this, the strength of this, the acid in their stomach, and they have a big problem digesting protein in general, especially red meat. Okay, that's one reason. The other reason is that you're accumulating too much iron, and iron is very toxic. Now, iron is an essential trace mineral uh, needed in small amounts, but the problem is we have no mechanism to get rid of iron. So it's very, very dangerous to take too much. Women who are menstruating each month usually do not have a problem with that because they can get rid of iron. But men uh, do have a problem with toxic iron. So iron can accumulate in the organs and the liver. It can create all sorts of problems, inflammation, cirrhosis of the liver. However, in the beginning, uh, too much iron can give you a headache, joint pain, fatigue, or insomnia. So if you get these symptoms after you consume meat, it could be you just have too much iron in your body. So let me just kind of go through the two types of iron. You have non-heme iron and heme iron. Uh, the non-heme is like anything vegetable or plant or seafood or eggs, even though the heme iron is certain meats as well as seafood. So seafood has a combination of heme and non-heme. So does meat, by the way. But meat typically has more heme iron than most seafood. And the non-heme iron does not create as much of a problem as this type of iron. So let's just go through the food that has the most concentrated heme iron. Venison is number one. Uh, next one is lamb. Next is beef. Pork, not too bad. Uh, pate, that's pork liver, is five. But take a look at this. It's only 16% heme. And so it's not as bad as some of these other ones right here. Uh, chicken is 0.2 in zero. So that's, that's pretty good. Uh, mussels, that's pretty high. 4.6 milligrams and 48% heme. So this could be a problem with iron. However, if you're deficient in iron, <laughs> these are the foods that you want to consume. Mussels, definitely. Okay, salmon, 0.6 and 17%. So salmon is not gonna be the problem. Okay, lobster, 1.6 and 40% heme. And then shrimp is 2.6 milligrams and 40%. So mussels, venison, lamb, beef, those are the big ones right here. Now, the other thing you have to be careful about, especially if you're not doing keto uh, or intermittent fasting is the bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits that are enriched with uh, iron. They're called fortified. So anything with grains that is fortified is gonna give you more iron. And this is a very big problem. So when you take calcium, you can lower iron, but really the best way to get iron out of your body is to donate blood. And there's some other ways you can reduce iron. Of course, avoid the ones that are high on the list right here. Avoid supplements that have added iron, like the Centrum Silver and Geritol, just loaded with the wrong type of iron. And they're not food-based. Okay, next thing is phytates. Phytates are in bran, but you can get this as a supplement. It's called IP6. It's a concentrated phytate. And phytates in grains block minerals, especially iron. So this can help reduce the amount of iron. There's also a chelator, EDTA. You'd want to take this on an empty stomach. The problem is it takes out all the minerals. So you may want to put back in the minerals that you want, excluding the iron. And I would also recommend taking a lot of food-based antioxidants slash food high in antioxidants like cruciferous vegetables. This will not decrease iron, but what it'll do, it will neutralize the free radical damage that's created from the iron because iron is very oxidative. It creates a lot of free radicals. All right, guys, thanks for watching and check out this additional video I have on iron that gives you a little more data. Thanks for watching.